What's going on everyone? This is Revenge or Evil Boy or Destructive DVU, whatever you call me. I'm bringing you my Trickster Rogue PvP build. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing one of these, but I was asked by a few people on my most recent video and I decided I would share it out. Um, I am only 2.5k item level right now in PvP gear. In PvE I'm still like 2.55 or something like that. So nothing crazy. Um, start off with the gear though, I got Grim Executioner. I do not wear the Grim Executioner uh, chest piece because this gives better stats. I do prefer this, it's not too much of a loss that you're getting so it's whatever. And because I don't feel like switching my elven battle enchantment back and forth. But anyways, I'm duelist and I got my drowned weapons. These are pretty much your main heal honestly when it comes to PvP. like. Every 60 seconds you get half your hit points back, so that's huge, until you have Twisted. Actually, I still think this is probably better for PvP. I do got one piece of burning. Um, I just got this Lost Moth neck yesterday. It is absolutely amazing. Without it, Trickster Rogue is nothing, and in my most recent video I didn't even have this. I just bought it yesterday, so... Um, I really wish I would have had this before. <laughs> Oh, and I also did not have a Vorpal. The Vorpal is key. If you do not have a Vorpal, go with a Terror. But only a perfect Terror and above is pretty much all that's useful because it debuffs and buffs you pretty much. So other than that, Vorpal, way to go, always. I got a Ring of Rising Power plus four. Uh, some people say this isn't too great, but I prefer it because you're constantly throwing daggers, you're always doing this. Like, if you can't hit them, you're just gonna consistently keep hitting them with this. And, uh, yeah. So then, just whatever. Crappy, good old strength. 145 stuff. Uh, these few of these need to be changed, but this is what I got for now. Stat wise, 9.9k power. To you hit them a few times with. You know for the rising power um, I run more of like a tanky or like more of a healing received kind of build I'm at 43.4 percent crit ch or deflect chance because I am a halfling that is probably the best thing to go for this in my opinion PvP this is always the best this is always the best hands down really good love it lifesteal it's decent you know whatever 3.6 percent but your boons are gonna be most of it uh Oh, this is useless. You want at least 50% armor pen, by the way, guys. Don't know if I said that. And here's my insignia bonuses. It's... This could be changed. There's a few that could be changed. I don't got all the ideal ones like this. It's only 0.5% of my hit points, but if you get the polar bear, it is 1.5% of your hit points on a crit. So that would be really, really nice. That's a huge difference, honestly. That's like probably 900 health per hit so actually probably more than that that would be great because whenever you go stealth you're always going to be hitting for crits so yeah it's really useful if you could get that um powers wise i'm running dazing strike death strike and smoke bomb with some of this shit shock oh shocking execution and courage breaker you'll see me use this the most courage breaker it is definitely the best ultimate for you to use if you can land a shocking execution, it is definitely better, but most of the time you cannot do that, so it's not worth it. I just go consistent damage, really. You don't need that crazy burst. You'll do enough damage as a trickster rogue. They're like broken against someone who doesn't know what they're doing. If you're playing someone who's inexperienced, they're completely screwed. Alright, uh, boons. I actually got a lot more in the past few days. I've always had all this stuff though. So let's see. Booms, 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 booms. Okay. Starting off, I only got this first one in the PvP campaign. Sharondar, power, deflect, action point gain. Uh, that's 20,000 arcane damage right there. That one's really good. That's I love that one. Um, I don't even have this, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but I would go with this right here. When you deflect an attack, you deal up to 3,000 damage. That's what I would go with, personally. 
Dread Ring, I literally just got this and haven't even gotten to test this out yet. But I imagine it's probably pretty useful. Uh, power, lifesteal, deflect chance, and uh, chance to heal up hit points. Let's see. Icewind Dale, don't got any of those, fortunately. Under Dark, power, lifesteal, combat advantage damage, very, very important. Because whenever you go stealth, that is combat advantage. 10% damage bonus from stealth right there. Very useful. Don't even have any of this yet. I would go with... I would go with control durations. Unless you... If you don't got an elven battle. If you got an elven battle, I would just go with the regain stamina. And after this, I mean, whatever. You're fucking useless anyways. Don't have any of these. I'm lazy. I know. Don't have any of our guild boons. Maze Engine, I have the first one. Incoming healing boon bonus. And Elemental Evil, Power, Life Steal, Recovery over Crit. Actually, I, I do have the Recovery over Crit. However, I would go with Crit now, because I didn't have much Recovery when I did this. This is like the first boons that I got. And when taking damage, you have a chance to do that. Blah blah blah. 24k hit points. A thousand Crit Strike. All right. Well. Okay guys, as for feat points, here's what we got. We got our 3 into toughness, which is max hit points. Very useful, always need to have that. I have 4 out of 5 in action advantage. That's just personal preference. Um, you could put them somewhere else if you really want, but that action point gain is amazing. If you can spam ultis, you're pretty much spamming damage anyways, so... Um, better than, you know, any of these in my opinion. I don't put any into there because I have an elven battle. An elven battle increases your stam regen, so you don't need any in there. Cunning ambusher, um, you deal 6% more damage after leaving stealth. You know, you leave stealth and re enter stealth all the time. Very useful. Always need to have this deflection chance. This is more PvP, by the way, anyways. I mean, you could change this up if you're going straight PvE, but I run it for both. Uh, restore 4% of your stealth meter when you dodge roll, that's cool. All this stuff, you know, this can all be changed, doesn't matter. However, this right here, I feel, is the best that you can get, hands down. Crit severity while in stealth, blah blah blah. Useless, a useless, this is useless, and this is useless. The rest of it, totally necessary. Up here, this one, you definitely need 100% of the time. This could be changed. Knife's Edge could be changed for, like, flashing blades. You know, but all this stuff. This is the stuff that matters. This right here. All this stuff. And then these five. The rest of it, you could, uh, you could do what you wish. Enjoy, guys. If you want a PvE build video, just let me know. Uh, I'm actually doing pretty good in PvE. It's a trickster rogue. I'm not always top DPS, but sometimes uh, it's a good fight. I run a straight single target build and it still manages to be okay, honestly. With a Lost Moth neck, so much damage. Makes it so much better. Alright guys, see you later.